Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I first wanted to quickly address the bang situation. No, I did not cut my hair before I get any questions about this subject matter. I wanted to mention that these are clip-on bangs. This is a product that I'm developing for fancy hair and will hopefully be launched sometime in the new year. And I am obsessed with them to say the least. I've been wearing them almost every single day. So if you see me with bangs in the next infinite number of videos on this channel and in majority of my photos on Instagram, that's what that is. And I also wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your sweet wishes on on the video that I posted about my septoplasty. I honestly did not expect to get such a positive response on that video. I haven't checked recently, but last time I checked, there was not one negative comment on that video, which is insane. I thought for sure there would be some people that would leave something nasty or wouldn't like something about the video, but 99% of you were so supportive and so awesome about it and sending me so many well wishes. So I really, really appreciate your love and support. It doesn't go unnoticed and I just want to let you guys know that it really really meant a lot to me All right, so now that I got those two things out of the way Let's hop into the video because this video is a really good one And I think I have a lot of amazing tips and tricks to share with you Especially because this year in 2017 I have traveled more than I have ever traveled before I counted that I traveled seven times times this year. I traveled to California, Las Vegas, New York, Montreal, France, California again, and Ottawa. So it's been a whirlwind 2017, but I also picked up a lot of amazing tips and tricks for traveling. So if you guys are avid travelers or want to travel more in the future, I really think that these tips and tricks are going to help you guys out. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. All right, so my first tip is to pack your clothing into Ziploc bags. Now, this is something that my husband and I have been doing for the last three or four years or so, maybe even longer, and I can't even tell you how much space this saves because it really compresses your clothing and creates more space in your suitcase, and it has a very similar effect to a vacuum seal, especially when you take all of the air out. And what I like about this method versus using a vacuum seal is you can totally reuse the Ziploc. It keeps your clothing organized and protected. So that is why this is one of my favorite packing tricks in the book. Tip number two is to roll your clothes whenever possible. Now I totally understand with some bulky items, it's not possible to roll them, but whenever you can, t-shirts, sweaters, pants, always try to roll them because it's going to preserve their shape. It's going to prevent wrinkling and it's going to make sure that your clothing keeps its shape. Another one of my favorite tricks is to travel with beauty samples. So when I travel, of course, I still love my makeup, but I like to keep my makeup very, very minimal, especially when I'm traveling. And I really, really don't like packing a lot of things. I always pack the bare minimum. So that's when these handy beauty samples come into play. So these are some beauty samples that I accumulated over the last few months from Sephora. And I kept them in this little Sephora bag and I just keep adding things and using using things as I travel. So at the beginning of this year, this bag was full to the brim and I used so many samples throughout my travels. So some samples that really, really come in handy, for example, are samples like this. This is a Rosarco shampoo and conditioner by Briogeo. So this is great if you end up going to a hotel that doesn't have a really good quality shampoo and conditioner or you need something particular. This works on all hair types and is so, so good. So I always have one of these on hand just in case. And I have a little Glam Glow face moisturizer. I have a couple samples from Nordstrom. This one in particular is a Charlotte Tilbury Super Model Body, which comes in handy when you want to just smooth out your skin and make your skin look healthy and beautiful. I've got a couple of Smashbox primers in there. So there's a bunch of amazing little goodies in here that that are perfect for traveling. And I always, always end up using several products from this little goodie bag. And it's also perfect opportunity to try new products that you otherwise do not have time to try out. And I've discovered a lot of amazing products doing this. And it doesn't take up a lot of space. I can literally fit all of my skincare products in this little bag and I'm good to go. One of the great things about traveling with little beauty samples is like this, is that you avoid mess, you save space. And if a couple of these 
explode in your suitcase, it's not the end of the world because you didn't pay for it. So if you haven't already, I'd highly recommend traveling with a bunch of little beauty samples. When packing shoes into my suitcase, I really like using either dust bags or shoe sleeves. They keep my shoes nice and protected. And I always put my shoes in between a bunch of clothes so that if someone is handling my suitcase super rough, my shoes are going to stay nice and safe. All right, let's talk jewelry. So personally, I don't like to wear a lot of jewelry, but when I do wear jewelry, I like to wear dainty jewelry, like my earrings, like my rings. I like to keep it nice and simple. And when I'm traveling, it's very easy for my thin chains and dainty rings and stuff to get all tangled up, which is why I really love using a jewelry organizer like this. It's super thin and compact. This one is from the brand called Brelux. You can find these on Amazon. They're super, super affordable. And as you can see, they have compartments for everything so for this kind of a compartment i like to keep bangles and stuff this is perfect for all of your earrings it comes with a little jewelry cloth cleaner these little guys are perfect for hanging necklaces and keeping them all straight and not getting tangled with one another there's another zip compartment over here so there's so many ways that you can store and organize your jewelry and prevent it from getting all tangled and mingled up. And I love that it keeps it nice and safe and it's super compact and thin. So I actually partnered up with Brelix on this video and I'm super excited to let you know that Brelix sent me three extra jewelry organizers and I'm gonna be doing a giveaway with these. How gorgeous are these prints guys? Like, come on. What I love about these is even if you are not an avid traveler, you can totally use them to organize all of your jewelry at home so that your jewelry doesn't get lost anymore. You know where everything is, it's all in one place and you have this beautiful little home for it. So I have three of these to give away and I'm gonna be giving them away on my Instagram. So if you are interested in getting one of these jewelry organizers, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram, like my last three photos and then comment on this photo with the hashtag Brelix times Nikki Sky, and then tag three of your best friends in the photo. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna leave all of the instructions in my description box below on how to enter that giveaway. So if you are interested in winning one of these beautiful jewelry organizers, it's super, super easy and all the rules will be down below. Another super useful and handy trick I wanted to share with you guys is before you travel to your destination, a couple days before your travels, make sure you check the weather at the destination that you are going to. Make sure you check the weather for the morning, during during the day and at night because some places in the world, depending on what time of year it is, it could be a totally different temperature in the morning and nighttime than it is during the day. Last year, for example, I went to Santorini with my husband and the mornings were so freezing. I literally could not leave our room without a jacket and sweatpants and a sweatshirt. And then in the afternoon, it was like a beautiful 35 degrees Celsius day where I couldn't even survive if I was wearing anything more than a t-shirt and short shorts. So make sure you check the weather ahead of time, just like a day or two ahead of time because the weather tends to change so, so much. That way you can really plan out which pieces you really need to take with you and you don't end up overpacking. Speaking of overpacking, my next tip is to take photos of all of your outfits. I cannot tell you how much this trick has saved me from overpacking. That is like one of my biggest pet peeves ever is having a suit case that has so much crap in it and then I only end up using 5% of it. So every time I travel, that's what I do. I check the weather, I get an idea of what kind of pieces I need to take with me. Do I need jackets? Do I need swimsuits, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then I start making a list of things that I need to take with me. And if I'm going on a vacation that is a week long, I wanna make sure that I have enough outfits for every single day, but I also want to take pieces with me that are transitional, meaning that I can reuse them with multiple outfits. Which brings me to my next point. When planning your outfits, make sure that you think about all of these basic transitional pieces that can go with a lot of different things. It's gonna save you so much space in your suitcase and such a big headache in the long run. And I promise you, no one will realize if you wore the same t-shirt two days in 
a row if you style them totally differently. So some examples of transitional pieces that I love to travel with is like a denim jacket because you can literally throw it over anything, a t-shirt, a dress, comfortable sandals that you can wear by the pool but are also evening appropriate, and also a dress that you can wear during the day and then maybe throw over a pair of leather leggings and some heels for the evening time. Okay, so as a girly girl, I love perfumes just as much as anyone, but I hate traveling with perfumes. And to be completely honest, I think that roller balls are completely finicky as well. So. My preferred way of traveling with perfume is getting a few samples from Sephora. This is also another great way to test out a bunch of different perfumes that you otherwise would not have tried out. So I have three little samples here and I recently traveled with them to California and Ottawa and I actually found one that I really, really like. In fact, I'm gonna spray some on right now. Mm. This one is Dolce & Gabbana Limp. So these ones are so light and compact. They literally take up no space in your bag. I just like throwing these into like a little Ziploc bag and I just throw them in my purse and they take up no space at all. Okay, so you guys probably see the pattern here. I really, really, really don't like overpacking and I love any opportunity to save space. So if I am packing any shoes with me in my suitcase, I'm going to take advantage of that empty space and I'm going to stuff my shoes with socks. I'm telling you guys, you would be so surprised about how much space stuffing your socks into your shoes saves. It's such a little tweak, but it makes such a world of a difference. Speaking of empty spaces, another one of my favorite ways to fill up an empty space is is to literally stuff my purses to the brim. If you're taking two purses with you, maybe one when you're traveling and one in your suitcase, I always fill the one in my suitcase to the brim with smaller items just to fill it up and make sure that I'm not carrying any air with me to my destination because that's very wasteful. So the idea is, is to fill larger items with smaller items if it's possible. And if I'm traveling with a purse that is filled to the brim, as soon as I get into the hotel, I just empty it and just leave whatever the essentials are, whatever I need to be out and about with in my bag. And my last travel tip is to invest in one of these. This is actually a scale for your suitcase. And guys, I cannot tell you how many times this little gadget has saved my husband and I from overpacking our suitcases. This, I'm pretty sure you can buy on Amazon. I have to ask my husband because he's the one who got it, but it's such a handy little tool. You basically just loop this around your suitcase and then balance this little thing on your hands, lift up the suitcase, and it tells you exactly how much your suitcase weighs so that you don't go over the allowance. So this specific one is made by the brand Camry and it has a maximum of 110 pounds or 50 kilograms such a lifesaver okay guys so that wraps up today's video i really really hope you enjoyed it i'm going to include all links for everything that i mentioned in today's video in the description box below so make sure you check that out if you're interested in anything that i talked about if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please be sure to subscribe i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and i will see you in my next one